All right, guys, so this is the uh, what we're doing today and tomorrow. Uh, so this is just a real quick demo. Uh, this is very simple. If you've done everything I've asked you to do, uh, then you should be in good shape. <clears throat> so today uh, we're going to call this uh, Two Pictures in Photo P with Transparent Logo. Uh, now, this is more of a formative, so it's worth 14 points. Here's an example of what you're going to take your logo and you're going to drop that on your pictures. So before you begin, there's a couple ways we can do these logos. You can go to Canva, type in logo up top, and then you can just redo your logo here, okay? Uh, so for example, if you do a logo here, you wanna make sure you make it transparent. So let's say I'll remaster this one or customize this logo per se, and you're gonna put your own information in it. When you're done with that logo, you're gonna click share, and you're gonna click download, okay? Now it's gonna, I, I don't think you all have access to transparent background if you do, then check that, uh, and I would make it for, I would make it a, uh, uh, actually, let's go ahead and keep it as a PNG so you can make it transparent. So I'm going to download it, uh, and it's going to take a second. If you want to use Adobe Express, uh, then you can go in there and do the exact same thing and go up here and type logo, and it's got the exact same type of setup. So you can go in and grab your logos that you made. You can create another logo. Uh, the process is basically the same. Now, if you had me in class, you have used this a lot. So we're going to download that. And we're going to do the exact same thing. Now, now that I have my two downloads, uh, I've got the one from Adobe Express, you know, which is just an just a example. But these have white boxes around them. And you don't want these logos with white boxes around them. Okay? You want... You know, you want just the circle like in that case. So what you're going to have to do with these logos is you're going to have to go to remove b, remove.bg, okay? And then you're going to have to add your logo to it. So it will remove the background and it just has what you have. So you see the checkered boxes. That means it's going to erase the background where you can only see the logo itself, okay? Now... Let me show you the process of doing the same thing with the one from, oh, that's the same one. Let me do the one from Canva. Give me a second. Uh, let me unzip that real quick. And that's the one from Canva real quick. There you go. So we're going to put that in there if you need to. And there you go. So I'm going to download that. So obviously that's what the logo looks like by itself. <clears throat> so, now you have the logos done. That was a real quick demo on that. I'm going to close those out, close that out, close that out, and close this out. Now, you're going to go and open up the projects that you all completed. File open, and then you're going to go to your Google Drive. Now, in my case, uh, on my Google Drive, uh, I don't have them downloaded to my computer, so I'm going to do that real quick. Uh, so in this case... Uh, because I'm not using a Chromebook, I've got them right here. So I'm going to select them both and download them so I can access them. And these are the ones that I finished yesterday. Now, I didn't quite finish the one on Burrow, but we'll just do that just for the sake of having those files. Okay, so I got my picture one and I got my picture two. Okay, so I'm going to go open and I'm going to, under my downloads, I'm going to grab the picture that I completed. So there's the one from Burrow. All right, so I'm gonna hit Control plus, Control minus, make sure you have all the changes you need. Remember, select, magic cut, and then you're gonna go into your green and keep what you want, take in your red, delete what you don't want. You know, in this case, obviously I don't want, you know, that right there, but just for the sake of the demonstration, we're gonna pretend that I'm finished with it, you know, so I, if I need to make finish, you know, uh, updated changes and things like that, like obviously I don't want this in the background either. Okay, and so that took his arm away. So you're kind of kind of going back and forth. I'm gonna change the size just so I can get into the tight spots there. Uh, now I've got my green selected, so let's get his arm in there. Okay, now we're good. Let's go back into the background. Remember, the red and green don't need to touch. 
So I'm going to check. There you go. Let's get that one out of there. And you can also, like, you know, if I have to go over green, I'm going to. There we go. So put your final, you know, final touches on it to get rid of what you want to get rid of. You know, remember, you can just do one dot at a time. Okay, and then I'm going to go inside his arm. There you go. All right, now, uh, one last thing. I want to make sure I get the uh, stripes on the jersey in. There you go. And the helmet. So you need to finalize these. If, if you didn't do a great job the first time, you need to do a great job this time. Make sure you have everything you want. Okay, there you go. Uh, and so you notice I'm going back and forth to ensure that things are like I want. Okay. Uh, so it's going to take some time. Nothing, nothing of any quality usually is done quickly. Just FYI. Okay. Even it takes me some time. All right. So just for the sake of it, I'm going to go right here and I'm done with it. Now, let's say we want to add our logo. Okay. So uh, now I'm going to go in here and... Uh, I, I should have my logo saved. I'm going to go file, open, and place. Okay, so we'll say this is one of the ones we did. And we're going to place that logo at the bottom right. Okay. So like, and, and you, you know, make it a certain size. Okay. And then we're going to go file, export as a JPEG. Okay. I'm just going to save it as pick one with logo. Make the quality 100% and then save. Okay. Then I'm going to go and file open and I'm going to open up my second picture. Okay. So there's my second picture. There you go. And as you notice, and I'm going to, as you notice, I got the logo in there, uh, the one I want, but the way to do it, you go file, open in place, and then whatever the logo is, you put it in. Okay. Now you notice you can see through the logo. Okay. All right. So the last part, we're going to go back to Canvas. Okay, I'm done with both. I'm going to Canvas. I'm going to go to my assignments. And I'm going to put this in two pictures in Photop with transparent logo. Notice it says transparent logo, and I've got my examples. Okay, so student view. Uh, start assignment. Choose file. Open up the file. So we'll say this was one of them. Add another file. Oh, so look, I can't put that one in there because it's a PNG file. So remember, they got to be JPEG files. So let me see where they're at here. So let's go file, export as JPEG. Let's go JPEG, pick two, or you can just leave it as that. Okay. Um, okay, so now I'm going to choose file, uh, download, let's see. We'll, say I, we'll just say that was the one I'm going to choose. So remember, it's a JPEG file. Add another file. This is my number two file. Oops. Choose the file. And there it is. Okay, uh, and then I'm going to submit assignment, and then that will allow me to check your work. Now, when I go back and check your work, I'm going to go to my speed grader to ensure that you have both videos done. So, for example, this is worth 14 points. Okay, now he's turned this in, but he didn't have a logo. So he did the background right, but didn't have a logo. So let's check this one. So the... So this was a good one. So right now he gets seven points, okay? And then I'll go to the next one. Uh, but then when you finish it and you're completed with it, so like I'm going to check Violet's and she's probably got it done right. So look, there's one and there is two. So that's perfect. She put both logos in, 14 out of 14. We are good to go. So that's how you do it.